Well, a lot of the numbers obviously don't favor the Giants in the second half. Now we're talking about more than a month of bad baseball, 11 and 25 as of uh, this recording right now. Now, it doesn't mean that they're dead. A lot of people are ready to turn the shovels. A lot of people are reading last rights for a patient that's in serious condition. There's no doubt it's serious. There's no doubt they're in trouble. There's no doubt that the playoffs are in peril for this team. Wildcard teams are catching up with them as well. If I had to bet my house now, I'd say the Giants aren't going to make it based on the trends of more than a month now. I also have to believe the talent on this roster could help them turn it around, but a lot of things have to go right. One of those things is hitting a home run once in a while. No, they're not essentially a home run team. They're a keep the line moving team, but you got to mix them in once in a while. And the Giants are second to last in the majors in home runs since the All-Star break. They've given up almost twice as many home runs as they've hit. The Dodgers have hit twice as many home runs as the Giants have. The game is changing. The Giants haven't caught up to it. Part of it due to injuries this year, part of it due to guys not being right. But don't tell the Dodgers about injuries. They've tied the Major League record for times using the disabled list this year. They've had the organizational depth to get it done. More than anything, though, it's about the Giants flailing in the second half. But the Giants need some contributions, including power, from guys like Hunter Pence. It's an open question as to whether that's going to happen, whether Pence is phys physically sound or whether Buster Posey, with the back and dealing with the thumb issue, whether he's physically sound. But they're on the field, so they can't use excuses.